Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice system of algebra equations. A plus B is equal to 100, AB is equal to 100 and we need to find all possible values of A and B. We name this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now from equation 1, A plus B is equal to 100. We find the value of B. B is equal to 100 and this plus A becomes negative A at right side. Now we put this value of B 100 minus A in equation 2. Equation 2 is A times B is equal to 100. A times value of B is 100 minus A is equal to 100. Now we multiply this A by this 100, 100 A and A times negative A, negative A squared is equal to 100. Now we move these two terms 100 A and negative A squared to the right side. This negative A squared becomes positive A squared at right side and this positive 100 A becomes negative 100 A at right side plus this 100 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation A is equal to 1 and B is equal to negative 100 and C is equal to 100 and according to quadratic formula A is equal to minus value of B minus 100 plus or minus square root of value of B negative 100 squared minus 4 times value of A 1 times value of C 100 divided by 2 times value of A 1. Next A is equal to this minus minus becomes a positive 100 plus or minus square root of negative 100 squared is equal to positive 10,000 minus 4 times 1 times 100 400 divided by 2 times 1 2 next a is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 10,000 minus 400 9,600 divided by 2 Next, A is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of, we can write this uh, 9600 as 100 times 96 divided by 2 and A is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 100 times this 96 can be factorized as 4 times 4 times 6 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 100 is 10 times square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 6 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to 100 plus or minus 10 times to 20 and 20 times to 40 times square root of 6 divided by 2. Next, A is equal to from these two terms we can factor out 2. 2 as a common factor and in bracket left 50 
plus or minus 20 times square root of 6 divided by 2. Now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we get 2 values of a. a1 is equal to 50 plus 20 times square root of 6 and a2 is equal to 50 minus 20 times square root of 6. So these are the two values of a. Now to find the values of b we use the equation We use this equation b is equal to 100 minus a to find the value of b. To find the value of b we use this equation b is equal to 100 minus a. First in this equation we put the value of a 50 plus 20 times square root of 6. So b is equal to 100 minus value of a is 50 plus 20 times square root of 6. Next b is equal to 100. Now this minus will change the signs of these two terms. This positive 50 becomes negative 50. This positive 20 times square root of 6 becomes negative 20 times square root of 6. Next, b is equal to 100 minus 50, 50 minus this 20 times square root of 6, 20 times square root of 6. This is the first value of b. Now, in this equation, we put the value of a to 50 minus 20 times square root of 6. So, b is equal to 100 minus value of a2 is 50 minus 20 times square root of 6. Next b is equal to 100. This minus will change the signs of these two terms. This positive 50 becomes negative 50 and this negative 20 times square root of 6 becomes positive 20 times square root of 6. Next, b is equal to 100 minus 50, 50 plus this 20 times square root of 6. This is the second value of b. So, we get two pairs of solutions a comma b is equal to first pair is a1 is 50 plus 20 times square root of 6 comma b1 is 50 minus 20 times square root of 6 and second pair is a2 is 50 minus 20 times square root of 6 and b2 is 50 plus 20 times square root of 6. Now let's verify these values of a and b by putting these values in the original equation. The original equations are a plus b is equal to 100 and ab is equal to 100. First in this equation we put these values of a and b. Value of a is 50 plus 20 times square root of 6 plus value of b is 50 minus 20 times square root of 6 is equal to 100. Now this negative 20 times square root of 6 will be cancelled out with this positive 20 times square root of 6 and this 50 plus this 50. 100 is equal to 100. Now in this equation we put the values of a and b. Value of a is 50 
plus 20 times square root of 6 times value of b is 50 minus 20 times square root of 6 is equal to 100. Now by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This expression will become 50 squared minus 20 times square root of 6 squared is equal to 100. Now 50 squared is 2500 minus 20 squared is 400 times this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here left 6 is equal to 100. Now 2500 minus 400 times 6 2400 is equal to 100 and 2500 minus 2400 100 is equal to 100. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So these values of A and B are valid solutions of this equation and in the same way if we check these two solutions these are also valid solutions.